Hey everyone, it's the Eclectic Handyman here today looking at the toolbox widget wrench organizers and the insert labels. I'm going to unbox them, see what the construction quality is like, how these labels work out, and do these really work well when you're opening and closing the door and do the wrenches flop around and just overall what I think about them. Let's check them out. All right, so these things are pretty popular online. I've never used them before. They're marketed all over the place. Whether you're on Facebook, you'll see ads for them, Instagram on the internet, YouTube videos about them. I was not sponsored or got these for free. I decided to give them a try. I've been a little bit hesitant, but I do want to check them out, mainly because when you look at a traditional wrench holder like this Craftsman one here, you have a static number of wrenches that can be used and the problem with that is when you get a wrench set that only has you know six or eight or seven or whatever it is like for example these craftsman ratcheting wrenches made in the usa i just did a video on them i will leave a link up here but this is an odd set with eight wrenches so i want something and what i'm most attracted to about these are the modular nature meaning depending on the size of your toolbox you can add or subtract and figure out whatever configuration that you need as opposed to these and the other problem with these is the amount of space that they require depending on which size you buy can take up a whole lot of space in the toolbox i think that's the number one selling point is really the compressed nature of how many of these you can set up all right so one of the other things is I happen to have read, you know, this is veteran owned. I think that's pretty cool, but I do want to give it a fair look at it right here. So let's take a look at this. All right. So they come in a uh, number of 12, holds 12 wrenches. All right. So taking these out, the way they work, it's, uh, you know, pretty much no brainer. They slide together like this. And then they have a magnet at the bottom. I'm going to see how that magnet works specifically through this type of toolbox liner, which I have reviewed in the past. They call this the uh, missing tool indicator. You know, they market it a lot with the eye and widget so that if a, if a wrench is gone, then, you know, you can easily spot it, especially if you start stacking these up in the toolbox. Now, one other note, this says for professional and DIY use, I believe there is a lower level one. They consider these the professional. I did pay about $20 for these off of Amazon. You can get them directly from the site. They're always running like 10, 20% off sales. So take a look if you're into that. So kind of taking a look at it here. These are plastic. I just, you know, looking at them, I don't have any reservations thus far about them breaking or these you know falling apart or anything like that they don't seem to be you know too cheaply made right here the uh i do like they're very smooth to to put together so that seems pretty nice right now now one thing you have to decide is how many you use for a wrench because what you can do is you can you know you can put them side by side to have a wrench going like this or you can just put the end of a wrench and we'll take them over to the toolbox with those wrenches and see so if you're gonna do that and double up you're gonna need six although most of the time what i've seen folks only use one until you get into the larger wrenches and they have a multitude of product products for pliers and larger wrenches and all sorts of stuff so you can take a look at that as well online uh, again, I'm going to see about the magnets. You know, I always like to see some of the negative reviews, but you never know if they're legitimate or not or a competing company. So, I mean, for $20, um, I don't know. The jury's out on that. You know, I'm sure they're recouping, you know, some of the IP behind this and rightfully so. I mean, it is a cool product, but I think, you know, maybe it could be a few dollars cheaper because it's going to be quite the hefty investment to get into this for all of my wrenches. So thus far, pretty cool. Again, you can, this is this is the big selling point for me, this modular nature. You know, you've got 12 wrenches. Nope, I've got eight. Take off the four here, use them for another day, buy another box of them or whatever. I'm sure that's what they want you to do. And you know, there we go. All right, let's take a look at the labels. All right, so the labels I got off of Amazon as well, though you can get them uh, from their site directly. One of the things 
that I read about these. So these were about $9, I believe. I think regular price is 10. They may have been on sale. So the idea is that they pop into here for the size wrench that you're using. The complaint about them is that if you can see here, so it says 30 millimeter. I got the metric ones. I did not get the standard. And the non-diversity of color or contrasting color, meaning they don't have like black on white or some other color, makes that difficult to read. So a lot of people gripe that they're useless. The trick that everybody says, I even believe they may do this in their own marketing, is to pick the color you want from the get-go. I'm going to use black. And apparently you take the Sharpie and you go over the top very carefully. I will use black for metric and I'll use red for standard, which kind of follows my Aries socket magnetic holders. So I'll use the same and uh, take a look at that. Uh, that is way easier to read. So is there a little extra work? Sure. Should they do it? I, I'll leave that up to you. I, you know, whatever the case. And I want to see what happens here because some people said they're really difficult to insert in. So I don't know. I've never done it. I'm, it looks like it should just snap in. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I Again, I saw some negative reviews. I don't see any problem with that. That was easy. Didn't have to bend them or somebody was complaining that they weren't well aligned. I don't know. That was a piece of cake to me. And now I can see, I can see the size of the wrench. So you don't have to get those, but I, I like it. So I'm going to give it a go with the labels. All right, let me fill out all the labels, take them over to the toolbox, and put the wrenches in and give it a real test. All right, so I'm over here at my Craftsman Toolbox. I've got this drawer, and we're going to do some tests on it. I've got my set of toolbox widget wrench holders ready, and let's start with the magnets. This is a toolbox liner. It does have some thickness to it. And I can tell you right now, you see how I'm pushing on that with my hand? I am actually pushing on it. Well, and they are not moving. Those magnets are indeed strong enough to go through the liner to the toolbox drawer. And some people say it, it's not. And I'm telling you, this is a decently thick liner. In fact, it's thicker than some of the Craftsman OEM ones that I have. And sure enough, it those are not moving anywhere. And again, look, I'm I'm sitting there hitting them. I'd have to put some pretty good force on those for those to come off. So as far as the magnets, thumbs up. I can say firsthand, and I've never used these before. All right, let's load up the wrenches. So we've got the 8 millimeter, 10, then the 12, 13, <clears throat> 14, 15. Got those labels backwards. So this will be a little test. Yep, they come off with no issue. It's not like they're permanently in there, so that's good to know. I could switch those out if for some reason I didn't they, they had any issue or didn't have an order like that. 15, 17, getting into the larger ones here, and then 18 millimeter to finish it off. All right, first impression. I want to see if they wobble back and forth. That's what I was worried about, that they were going to go like bloop, 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 you know, back and forth. And I know I'm not trying to prove that you can fit 458 wrenches in this drawer. There's enough photos on their website that show that. I want to see how they actually perform. The magnet got a thumbs up. The construction's good. The labels are fine. I have to do the Sharpie technique. No big deal. But right now, I mean, the 8 millimeters moving around a little bit. How about that missing tool indicator? Well, if I pull it out and if I was to look over, you can see the orange. You know, based on how useful that is, your mileage may vary, but definitely I can see that orange line, so I know that that wrench is missing, especially if you have a couple of odd ones. You know, the other thing is that they rest on the, in this case, my toolbox liner. They already have a little bit of friction because of that liner. So let's go ahead and open and close this with some force. I have the slow closed drawer, so I can't really slam it. But I am flopping these around. I barely saw the 18 kind of move, barely, one time. And they are not moving. So I've done that 15, 20 times. Those wrenches have not moved. And so if I compare it to that comparable wrench organizer here, you know, the spacing might be pretty close, but the deal is the way they market this is that you can do this. So let's try this. So they were in the middle. 
I see often that they have them on the ends like this. Let's try that same test and see if they kind of wobble around. Okay, I barely see them moving. You know, they're not in the middle. I saw the 13 and 14 just slightly moving, but really you can get some real estate because what you can do is shove these over here in the corner and then you could get this to work, you know, by fitting a lot in. Again, that's not my test, but right here you can see, you know, this would be 12, this is eight. So if you lined them up, you know, depending on the spacing and how you do it, I do think you can get a lot more because of the shape of this too and how far it has to be placed in certain areas. It's not conducive like this where you can put it anywhere. So, all right, I think that's going to do it for this review. I'm going to give it like a 4.5 out of 5. I'd say the only detractors are that I have to spend a little bit of effort with the Sharpie, but that's not a big deal. And the cost. Listen, like I said, they're probably recouping some of the IP. It's a unique design. There's not a lot of competition out there. It's a well-made product. So I think that um, it can say to warrant that, but it would just be nicer maybe the uh, side of me that wants to now at this point maybe get more of these that uh, is just going to be kind of a heavy investment. So I think quality, the magnet sticks, the labels are cool. They don't move around. You saw that I did that test. I think it's uh, uh, well worth an investment. So anyway, hope you found this useful if you're looking at these and thinking about making your own investment. Until next time, this is the Eclectic Handyman. We'll see you later.